I have done so much trekking and hiked up so many mountains, from small hills to more challenging western ghats treks and even Himalayan treks. But the place I am going to show you today is not like any other place you would have seen before. Today we are going to trek an active volcano called Mount Batur. Yes, you heard it right. This volcanic hill is not in India but it is situated in Bali, Indonesia. Recently we visited one of our dream destinations, Bali. It was our first international trip together and we spent craziest 10 days of our life on this beautiful island. Hey guys, welcome back to Sakri Cubes and this is Sagar. There are a lot of things you can do in Bali among which Mount Bodo Trek is definitely a must to think when you are here. In this video, we will talk about 10 things to know before you visit Mount Bodo. There are three important mountains in Bali which are next to each other. Mount Batur, Mount Abang and Mount Agung. Of these three, Mount Batur and Mount Agung are active volcanic mountains. The most recent eruption on Mount Batur was seen in the year 2000. And on Mount Agung, it was seen just a couple of years back in 2019. Out of these two mountains, Mount Batur is a popular hotspot for trekkers. Mount Batur is situated north of Bali near a village called Kintamani. It is an hour's drive from Ubud and two hour drive from Kuta, Seminyak or Chenggu. Mount Batur trek is definitely one of the must to activity when you are in Bali. But the question is how difficult is the trek? Can you do it? To be frank, Mount Batur trek is not a very easy trek. But it's not a very difficult trek either. It's a moderate difficulty level trek which is a perfect for beginners as well as intermediate trekkers. The trek distance is around 6 km and it will take around 2 hours to reach the top of the mountain. If you have come to Bali with family, especially with aged people or kids, then you can skip this place. You need to book in advance for Mount Bato trek and it could be a lot difficult to find a reliable guide. When we were doing our research, we came across this app called Pluk. This app offers seamless experience with an authentic guide and reliable service. Just open the app and search for the activity you want to do, in this case Mount Bato Trek. Fill in all the required details and directly make the payments online. Kluk will take care of everything in the background. It was so much convenient that we used it to book a two-wheeler for our entire trip, a SIM card and a speedboat to Nusa Penida as well. We had such an amazing experience that we highly recommend you to check it out. Not just Bali, they operate in various destinations and they have a lot of offers running right now. You will get amazing prizes with their Monsoon Mania sale. I will drop a link to this app in the description box below. As this is going to be a night trek, you will need a torch. The guide will usually get the torch for you. The guide will also give half a litre water bottle per person. You can carry extra if needed. Breakfast will be served at the top. You can carry some energy bars like Snickers which you can have while trekking up. Since you start trekking early in the morning, it will be freezing cold so do carry a jacket. Don't wear flip flops or delicate footwear. Wear a good shoes. You don't need a trekking shoes but a normal sport shoes or canvas shoes would do the job. While trekking down it could be very hot and sunny so do carry a cap and sunscreen lotion. The trek package includes pickup and drop facility from your hotel. On the day of the trek, the driver will message you the pickup time. Mount Butter is a one hour drive from Ubud, so our pickup was scheduled at 2.30 am. We slept for a couple of hours before alarm rang at 2 am. The driver was already waiting outside the hotel, so we got ready quickly and boarded the car. After half an hour drive, the driver gave us stop for refreshments. We didn't know but it was included in the package. After a hot cup of coffee, we started driving towards trekking point. The guides were already waiting for us at the location. The guide briefed us about the trek and handed over the torch and water bottle. The night trek is going to be a thrilling experience. The actual trek starts around 4 am and you will get exactly 2 hours before the sunrise happens. So we were literally chasing the rising sun. The initial part of the trail was easy. But as we proceeded, the terrain becomes steep and uneven. As this is a volcanic mountain, you will be mostly walking on the loose soil that will make you skid in many places. After one hour of trekking, the difficulty level increased further. We took countless breaks before making it to the summit. We made it to the top just before the sunrise. 
We chose a nice place to sit and enjoy the sunrise while our guide went to prepare us breakfast. It was time for the moment of truth. Was the hike really worth it? Was the sunrise from Mount Batur really that beautiful? Are the views truly mesmerizing? Many such questions kept popping in my mind. Slowly the sky was filled with the first ray of sun. The cloud bed was formed which announced the beauty of the place. All our tiredness vanished away as we sat there enjoying the cool breeze. It was indeed a magical experience. The mountain which you see from this point is Mount Abang. Remember it? I mentioned about it at the starting of the video. If you google for a photo of Mount Batur, 90% of the photos you will see is a photo of this view. While we were enjoying the sunrise, our guide prepared us the breakfast. Banana sandwich and boiled eggs were served. Sitting on an active volcano, watching the sunrise and having a tasty breakfast reminded us how lucky we are. It was all possible because of your love and support. We took a couple of photos with our guide and our new friend from South Korea. Till now, we knew that we were standing on an active volcano, but it was time to explore and experience the power of nature. The volcanic mountains will have something called a crater. It is a ball-shaped structure from where lava erupts. Mount Batur has two major craters, one at the peak and another at a lower altitude. The crater on the peak is massive in size. The circumference is more than 1.5 km. Seeing the crater and hot steam coming out of it was a whole new experience for us. After a while, we started descending and gave another stop at the second crater. This is a smaller crater, but here we got a chance to look at the hot steam more closely. It was so much exciting to feel the hot steam coming straight from the Earth's core. The guide explained some interesting facts about these volcanic mountains. He was not only informative but also friendly and entertaining. And did I mention he was a fan of Shah Rukh Khan's songs? When you are booking Mount Batur trek, there are many add-ons you can choose from. You can choose to visit natural hot springs, river rafting, ATV adventure and Balinese massage. It is best to go either for Balinese massage or hot spring as it will help you recover from all the tiredness of the trek. WhatsApp is the primary mode of communication here in Bali. If you don't have the app for any reason, then you can download it before you visit Bali. If you can't trek, then you can also hire a motorcycle to climb the mountain. But I heard it's a really scary experience as a pillion. You can either book a private tour package or a shared tour package. The only difference between the two is the hotel pickup and drop would be pool with the other people and you will trek in a group. We opted for a private tour as per our convenience. I wish the trekking poles like this were also provided by the guides as it makes trekking a lot easier. Nevertheless, you can just take some sticks and use it as a trekking pole. That was everything you needed to know before going to Mount Batur trek. Let me know if you have any question about this trek or Bali in general in the comment section below. If this video was helpful for you, then hit on that like button and also subscribe to this channel. You can see this video on the left for the complete guide to Bali trip. See you in my next video. Until then, keep traveling.